Alright, in this video I'm going to be tying a classic bonefish pattern called the gotcha. However, we're going to, uh, to fashion this fly for shad. Uh, in the vise I have a Mustad 3366A in a size 6. Um, go ahead and attach our thread and take that down about a third of the way of the hook. Now if we were tying this for bonefish, we'd be tying it with the stainless steel hook, but I like the, uh, the Mustad 3366A because it's got a large ring, and we're going to be fishing this in fresh water for shad, and again, if you were fishing this for bonefish, you'd probably be tying it with the B-chain eye because you're fishing the flats, but we're fishing the river bottom for shad, so I'm going to attach a 532nd hourglass eye. And sorry, I forgot to mention I'm using a uh, 6 aught thread, uh, uni thread in pink. Build some shoulders up, tighten it all down. Alright, once we get our eye on there nice and tight, which that is. We're going to take our tailing material, and our tailing material is this minnow body. It's essentially just a, a nylon rope that's wrapped with uh, you know, a sort of iridescent uh, outside to it. What we're going to do is just kind of measure the length of the body. And really for shad, we want the tail to be short. So I generally want that to be about as wide as the gap of the hook. So I measure that with my scissors. So about a gap of the hook off the back of the fly is about where I want it. I'll go ahead and trim my material there. So I end up with a little short section and you want to pull out the nylon rope. Pull that out. So you end up with kind of a, a hollow little body there. It's kind of iridescent. Um, that we're actually going to use for the tail. Now I like to tie this in behind the eye and since you have these kind of frayed ends it can be a little difficult so what I like to do is spin your bobbin counterclockwise several times and then we'll just make it easier to, to capture those kind of frays and with the light wrap or two and then you can kind of pull it through Pull it through your, uh, your thread until you get it nice and flush with the eye. And then we'll advance the, the tail, uh, sorry, advance the thread back to the uh, bend of the hook. And heck, I'd say that's even a little long. So again, I'm going to measure about a hook gap's worth and just give that little tail a trim. And then you can kind of use your scissors to pull apart that braided material and create this little uh, flared, flashy tail. Pretty cool. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take some pink crystal flash. Pink flashaboo, actually. And we just need a strand or two. Try that again. We'll go ahead and wrap that around our thread in half and then capture that material on top of the hook. Now, the original gotcha calls for a braided flashy material to build the body with. I generally don't have that on hand so I figured out that uh, flash and do works just as well um, to get maybe a little more durability at it, out of it you can uh, touch the body with a little Sally Hansen's at this point 
advance your thread. And then go ahead and wrap your body with the flash boo. So this is just going to build a little pink body. And there's enough material here to probably take it back to the butt of the fly and then back up. And I'm just going to capture that material in front of the eye. We'll come back to it. Touch the body with just a little bit of head cement again. Just improves the strength of the fly. Don't have to be too much. Just a touch. Next, I'm going to take some pink tip tail. If you've ever seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I like tip tail a lot. It's a cheap material. You can tie. Oh, probably hundreds of flies with one tail. So you want to cut off a clump of that, and you want to pull out any of the fluff. So I hold it from the ends, the very far, and you know, long ends, and then just pull that shorter fluff out. You end up with a more uniform body, something like that. And the tail should be as long as the. I'm sorry, the wing should be as long as the tail. That looks about right. And same thing, I like to just give a little twist on my bobbin counterclockwise. And that just helps us capture all that material on the hook. And kind of bring this forward. Now what I like to do is take that extra crystal flash that you have, or flashaboo, and just pull it through on top of the wing and then capture that on top of the hook with your wraps. Go ahead and wrap up towards the head of the fly. Pull up that tag end, make a few wraps that creates a little post so it's easier to grab onto. And then snip the excess with your scissors. You can go ahead and trim that crystal flash to as long as the wing. And then we'll build up the head. And whip finish. Cut off our thread, and then just hit our thread wraps with a little bit more head cement. And that is the Gotcha, and it's fashioned for shad. Nice heavy little fly gets down to the bottom and the shad love them. Give it a try on your water.